Hello and welcome to this short video describing how to start working with Pro Structures. Let's start with launching the software. And as you start up, you will be presented with this screen. So if you're familiar with MicroStation, you will feel at home. If you're not, I'm going to guide you through it. First of all, let's create a new project here in this drop down list. You have to select new and then give it a name. You can give it an description. Okay, so that created a folder structure for us. In projects, it created a new folder called project and a DGN folder, among others, with it. So to create a new file in that project, you have to use this new file tool. So here you'll find you have to give it a file name. I'm going to call it structural model. And I'm going to choose the right seed. So here you can see we have a seed file, which is a, a, like a template file for our designs, which is based on US Canada Seeds Imperial 3D EGN. So if you want to use Imperial units and USA localization, that's fine. But um, in this example, I would like to use a Great Britain localization. So what I have to do is I have to go to Browse and go up and up once more and you will see i'm in localized folder and here in localized folder i have great britain localization and in that folder i have seeds folder and here i have my metric 3d design seed so this is the one i'm going to use so you can see now it's changed my structural model name is fine so now i can use save this is my Initial empty design. I'm going to open it right now. When we want to open the file first time, it will ask us for the right license, and it's very important to choose the right one, the one that you purchase. Here we have three options Pro Structures, which uses both Pro Steel and Pro Concrete, and each individual one if you want to. And this is a Pro Concrete video, so I'm going to choose Pro Concrete here. And now, if you don't want to see this dialog box again, this is where you can click. Don't show me this dialog box at next start. And it will not come up next time you open the file, but you will still be able to access it if you need it. ProConcrete is based on MicroStation platform. So again, if you know MicroStation, it will be very familiar with some additional features and uh, functionality that allow you to uh, work with structures. Here on the left, you have the, all your tasks, and you can see that it is very, very similar to what it is in MicroStation. And additionally, we have four new tasks groups Pro Structures, Pro Steel, Pro Concrete, and 2D Rebar. That's basically how Pro Structures look like. So, right now, you remember I've started my uh, new file with a Great Britain localization. So, to work in the Great Britain localization, I have to go to Pro Structures tasks, and the first icon here is the one to change localization. So I'm going to do that. You can see I have a few choices USA, Canada, New Zealand, Great Britain, and Australia, and those are created out of the box, but, and you can create your own one if you need to. This is a set of configuration based on each country's specific uh, requirements. And you can create your own configurations based on your uh, organization or your country and add it here if you want to. I'm just going to change it to Great Britain right now. Okay, so that's fine. Now, if we change localization, Pro Structures will need to be restarted. And this is what this prompt says right now. You need to restart Pro Structures to switch to the newly selected localization. So now let's restart real quick. Okay, so we have the right localization. Now what we need to do is for to use with Pro Concrete, we need to set up a rebar code properly. To do that, go to Pro Concrete tasks and Q1 which is rebar concrete codes. And here in rebar codes, you can find the one 
that you need and want to use. I'm going to use a British standard 8666-2000. So to use it, I have to right click on it and set it as current. And that's it. Right now I'm using a rebar code. To make our lives easier, we can go to our seed file, the template that we based our design on, and set that rebar code there as current. I'm going to do that just now. So I'm going to open a file, go up to my workspace folder, go to Prostructures, Localized, Great Britain, Seeds, and here's a metric seed file, and I'm just going to open it. And here, again, I will go to my rebar codes and I'm going to change to the right code that I want to use, which is this one in this example, set as current. Okay, so now every time I will create a new design based on this metric 3D seed, it will automatically start using British standard rebar code. So that is how we can set up a concrete to start using it and model our structure.